Hi everyone, it's Rita LaVon and welcome to my channel at LaVille Share. Thank you all so much for tuning in and if you are not already a subscriber, I ask that you click on the red box in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. So today's video is going to be about my natural hair and what products that I'm currently using. So considering it's a natural hair video, why don't I go ahead and lean in? <laughs> Let's see here. So yeah, this is what I am currently looking like. Um, I have actually, uh, this is uh, exactly seven day old hair because I did it last Sunday. Uh, so this is what I am looking like. Yep, this is me. Um, so I'm going to go through the whole nine as far as products. So I'm speaking of the first portion of actually shampooing my hair, conditioning my hair, and then on to uh, what I use on shampoo day to actually style my hair. And then I'm also going to go through what I do as like a curl refresher. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So as far as shampoos, I'm still with my Carol's daughter. <laughs> Listen, I have um, spoken about this product before. Uh, this is the Carol's Daughter Coco Creme Curl Quenching Shampoo. I'm still using this shampoo because it gets the job done. Um, I have been using this for a very long time. You can, you know, kind of go back in some of my older videos where it just seems like if I go to other products and I'm not happy, I can always come back to this and it gets the job done. So for me, this is my first shampoo because I shampoo my hair three times usually. So that's the first shampoo. Then the second shampoo is also Carol's Daughter. This is Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Moisture and Shine System. And it's their Luscious Moisture Shampoo. This is my second shampoo. Um, I really like this as well. And it works well with um, the other shampoo. So that's shampoo number two. And then shampoo number three is the Cura Care Hydrating Detangling Shampoo. Now, I have been using this um, way before I was a natural. Um, I used that when I had a relaxer. Um, it's really good for detangling um, because as some of my natural hair girls will know, you know, sometimes you have to use uh, like a cream detangler beforehand before you're going to shampoo your hair. But this product works very well to do the job when you're shampooing your hair so you don't even have to do that step anymore because some people could use the detangling as almost like a pre-poo where you're doing something before you actually shampoo um so this is the third shampoo that i use um i love this product and also the brand as well cura care they have a really great line of products that i really really enjoy i've also used their first lather shampoo um, I've also used their, I think it's, I'm, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but like Humeco, I'm not sure if that's correct, but it's something of that sort. That's a shampoo that they have. They also have a moisturizing shampoo that I've used on many occasions. Um, and I like that as well. So those are the three shampoos that I am currently using that I truly enjoy. Um, as far as conditioners. This is the Carol's Daughter, Coco Creme again, the Curl Quenching Conditioner. I really like this product as well. Um, just Carol's Daughter in general. I just, she don't never cause no problems, all right? You know, it's one of those things where, you know, when you leave a product line and then you try to go to another product line and it's like, what am I doing over here? Um, you know? It's just not working. And I always come back to Carol's Daughters. It just always works right. And I appreciate it. <laughs> so that is what I'm using for shampoo and conditioner currently. So next would be the styling portion. Um, so I have a leave-in conditioner that I use. Uh, currently, I'm using the Shea Moisture 
Is it Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate Plus Repair Multi-Action Leave-In? Um, so this is, this is the product here. I really like this as well. I've noticed, oh, we're going to get this in here right. Look, that's the best I can do. Um, I've noticed that when it comes into leave-in conditioners, I prefer sprays. I don't like the creams. I, I think it just works better. And as you can see, this is it's more than halfway gone. Um, I really like the sprays. And this is a really good product. I'm enjoying this. So after the leave-in conditioner, um, that is where I am still on this product. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That looks better. Okay. So this is the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Cool Sculpting Custard. I have been using this whew, for months and months and months. Like I said, if you've been watching my natural hair videos, you have seen this many a times because this is a wonderful product and it does not leave your hair any type of crunchy. I've used gels and actually the next product is actually a gel, but um, I have learned to use a minimum amount of gel and this custard with it is just wonderful just wonderful I, I really love this product so i use this first on my hair and then once i am done with all of my sections of my hair and using this product with water then i come in with this this is the do big papa and as you can see it says defining gel i have learned that after I've used the meat ale on each of the uh, portions of my hair, each part, then once I'm done with that, I'll put this in my hands and use it overall. So um, when I first started using the product, I would use both products uh, right after each other. So I would, you know, have it parted four ways, on one part it's like okay i'm putting the meal and then i would put the big papa on it and then i would do that for all four sections and my hair would come out just a little bit too crispy and then Sutton just told me one day you know what let me just use the meal overall excuse me let me just use the meal on all the four portions with water and then at the very end when i'm done with that i'll go in with the big papa and I've liked my hair a lot more on shampoo day. So it just took some, uh, you know, just trial and error. Because that's really what, is, what it is um, as far as having natural hair. Figuring out what products to use. And how often to use those products. And how much of those products to use. Because I've noticed with the Me L that there's really not... Um, there's really just hasn't been a way for me to use too much or too little. No matter how much I use, it just seems to be very consistent. And I really like what my hair looks like afterwards. But with the Do Big Papa Gel, the defining gel, I have learned that it can leave your hair a little crispy. So you have to use just a little bit of it. And um, as always, when it comes to these products, it's really about using water with it. That is very important you know more water and just enough product um, because you need to make sure that your concoction is right because <laughs> you will mess around and use too much product and not enough water and when you dry your hair it's like huh what happened so um, i would highly suggest using uh, lots of water whenever you're using, you know, just any type of products, especially if you're being natural. Um, that's what has worked best for me. And, you know, it's all with trial and error and just trying to figure everything out. But that is the styling portion. Um, so as far as what I use for like a curl refresher, um, I do use this product as, um, I guess I could say I use this almost like a leave-in conditioner, but more on like a daily basis. So, you know, when I get up in the morning, you know, and I put water on my hair, this will be the next product. So this is the Design Essentials Natural Hair Almond and Avocado Daily Curl Revitalizer. And look at this, y'all. I only have a little bit left of this. So you can tell that I actually use it. Um every day uh but i really like this product um it's very lightweight 
and it works very well. Um, so after that, I use this product that I have also shown many times in the past. This is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Shrinkage Defense Curl Activator. This product, like I feel about this product the same way I feel about Carol's daughter, which is I can always come back to her and she's going to get me right. Okay, because there are so many products out here for natural hair and um, this product, this is a yes ma'am. You know, you ever just purchase something and it's like, mm, yes ma'am, yes ma'am, this is it. It will get you right, okay? So after the water, after the curl revitalizer, I put on this product and mix it in with some water and get to going up and through my hair. This, this is it. I love this product. Um, I have learned over time that foams, I don't know, I feel like they dry out my hair because I was using foams for a while. Like I've used the Aunt Jackie's, I've used the Dew, um, I've used the Design Essentials foam. There's so many brands that I've used and I just feel like when it comes to foam, it's like when you put it on there, it looks great, but then it's like after you dry it's like i don't know like as the day goes on it just doesn't i don't know i feel like foams make my hair look stuck like my hair doesn't feel like it can move but this product right here she gonna get you right you see i can put my hands through this this how it's supposed to be all right my hair not stuck and it's not gonna be stuck why because she got me right and i appreciate that um yes child i mess around i got a comment the other day um, the lady said, Ooh, I love your curls. I said, thank you. You know, cause I don't know what this looks like to the outside world. You know, I'm not, I guess you could say necessarily a new natural anymore. Cause it's been well over a year, but you know, you just don't know, you know, you do your hair, you look in the mirror, you know, it's like, what do I look like? You know, I don't know. You know, what I look like may not be what other people see. So she gave me a compliment. I said, thank you. I said, I don't know what this looks like to the outside world. I don't know. You know, I'm out here trialing and error like everything else. So that product will get you right. See, I love how I can just do this with my hair. Like this, this is how, I, yes, come on hair. Yes. As I have said so many times with me being natural, I just feel so free with this. Um, it just makes me feel it just makes me feel so good and that's a good way to be you know you want to you know just feel just hmm. <laughs> all right I don't know the word to use but it's a hmm <laughs> type of feeling that's what it is you know I am surely enjoying this process you know not really sure where I'm going to go next with this I kind of have some ideas but you know once I make up my mind, I'll tell you all about it. But I'm just loving this process. It is a learning process. As I have said so many times, this is a journey. And you all are here on this journey with me. And I hope that you all are learning something throughout this journey. Because I'm learning so much. And I hope that you all are, you know, just enjoying it. Just having fun. And, you know, being able to connect with me on whatever level that may be. You know, because... This is a natural hair video, but maybe you connect with me on my heart to heart chats or maybe you connect with me, you know, through more of my lifestyle videos, you know, but whatever videos that you connect with me through, I just want to say thank you so much. And uh, please don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms. I am under the same name. It's Rita LaVon and at Love Built Share. All of my links are always in the description box below and uh, follow me on Facebook, uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Instagram and I also have a link tree that has all of my links. You can also email me at lovebuildshare at gmail.com and while you are here and before you go, I just want to again say thank you and I'm going to see you all in my next video. Bye bye.